My name is Konstantin Magnus. In this Houdini tutorial, we are going to smoothly cut a mesh below a input curve. So you can see that underneath this curve, our mesh gets smoothed. So it looks like a cut, but we still keep the mesh topology. So let's create a new scene and come up with another pickhead. We'll just disable its shader and subdivide the mesh to have a bit more definition. And I will append a null node and call it mesh, just so we are flexible and can replace the mesh by something else. The line I will use for cutting gets oriented along the Z direction and we will match its size and position by using the match size node, connect the second input to the mesh and justify Y to the minimum of the mesh and scale along the Z axis to make the length fit the mesh. And now we can resample that curve to a length of 0.01 to have enough definition for a cutting shape, which we will procedurally generate using a attribute noise vector node set to capital P for the position. And we just want to change its Y component. Let's set the range to positive only. So the amplitude is the cutting depth and I don't need fractals to keep it simple. The offset parameter will create new cutting shapes or cutting curves. And there's also an option to animate that. So if you use your or, or scrub through the timeline, you will get new shapes. I'll disable the animation and rather append a null node called curve. Let's now make the mesh cut dependent on the input curve by using an attribute wrangle, which is there to calculate the difference in height of the mesh points and the closest position on the curve. So let's create a vector called pause underscore CRV and calculate the minimal position on the second input based on the position vector of our mesh points and calculate that delta simply by subtracting the Y components of the position vectors. So pos underscore crv dot y minus vp dot y should be what we output as a float attribute called delta. We can use this inside the clip node, which is now also accepting attributes like delta. And now when you offset the curve, you should get new cuts. Let's also keep the part above. And there are two options now. We can either cut through the mesh by enabling split connectivity. You can see that by displaying 3D island boundaries. Or to keep it intact, we will just output those new edges and keep the mesh as one piece. Optionally, we can also output above and below primitives as a group, but we will focus on the clipped edges, which we are going to convert to a point group. Using the group promote node, we can take the edge group and call it clipped points instead. We can also keep the edges in case we need them for something else, but now we're going to smooth the bottom part by using the attribute fill. This has a mode called interpolate Poisson. So it uses Poisson interpolation to smooth our mesh positions. We just have to set the boundary group to clip points. So you can see that patch, which is now smoothing our entire mesh and just pins down the clip points.
Now we want it to keep the upper part of the mesh intact and for that we can use capital P again as a attribute to match and use the weight to define how much this should be smoothed. For that we are going to remap the delta into a weight and now if you change inputs to let's say 0.001 and max to zero and now you can define or smoothly define which part should be smoothed by what amount. What you'll get is a incredibly smooth surface which still has all the edges of your initial mesh. For cleaning you can also remove all attributes and groups you may not need any longer and keep perhaps the UVs intact by using the roof sign UV. Thank you for watching.